Welcome to Kit Guru, my name's Andy, and today we've got a roundup review for you, taking a look at three products from AOC's Aegon range. We're checking out the AGK700 keyboard that comes in at $109.99, the AGM700 wired mouse, $38.99, and finally the AMM700 RGB LED mouse mat for $22.99. Make sure to hit that like and subscribe button as it helps to support us for free. Okay, so AOC have a huge range of gaming products aimed at PC gamers, from keyboards, mice, monitor arms, mouse pads, headsets, and more, but as mentioned, we're checking out a few products from the Aegon range, which is great because aesthetically, they all match really well with their mainly black and red designs. If you're after a matching peripheral set, then let's see if these products are any good. Let's start with the AGK700 keyboard, the priciest of the lot, at $109.99. Inside the box, you get a small packet with some red keycaps and a keycap puller, standard documentation, the keyboard itself, and a wrist rest. We'll start with the wrist rest. It's detachable with a soft leather feel, material across the top. There's actually loads of padding here, and in use, it's one of the more comfortable wrist rests I've used. It spans the entire length of the keyboard, and what I like too is that it's magnetic. I really don't like loose rests, and the magnets are strong enough to pull the entire keyboard forward if moved. What's slightly annoying is that mine came with an imprint in the lever from something pressing down on it in the box, and even after days of use, this didn't pop out. The keyboard is full size and has a bunch of extra keys and features that we'll touch on soon. The cable is a thick 1.8 meter long braided cable with two USB 2.0 connectors. The reason it has two is because there's a single USB 2.0 pass-through port on the back edge. These are always handy to have, but the cable is super thick and stiff too. The cable is black and red, keeping in theme with the other products, which is nice though. The keyboard features an aluminium alloy top plate that has a brushed finish look to it. This really helps with rigidity, overall build quality, and aesthetics too. It looks really sleek with the added AOC badge in the top left. Another styling is the beveled front edge. When the wrist rest isn't installed, you can see this nice drop off from the brush design and it also reveals the RGB Aegon logo in the middle. The craftsmanship of that huge metal top plate is really nice and it aids the overall premium feel of the keyboard. The whole keyboard is perky RGB lit too and the RGB is really bright. Though what I found really strange was the caps lock key only turns on RGB when caps lock is enabled and this is the same for num lock and scroll lock too. I'd kind of prefer it the other way around as the unlit keys look strange and who really uses caps lock for more than a few seconds? anyway. The red LED backlighting of the extra keys around the border of the keyboard don't look as good either. You can tell there's just a single LED shining up through the key. What I do like though is at the top of the center on the right we have one button to disable RGB lighting entirely without software installed. And next to that is an RGB effect cycling too, which is handy if you don't want to use any software. It's sad to see AOC went for ABS keycaps instead of PBT, but I suppose they had to keep costs down somewhere, and brand new ABS keycaps are actually quite nice when they're new, until they go all shiny and smooth later on. Another thing to mention is the font to use. I actually quite like it. It's large, it's easy to read, and definitely screams gamer to me. Underneath the keycaps, we have Cherry MX Red switches, but it is also available with blues if you would prefer. I really quite like classic Cherry MX Reds, probably because that's what my first proper gaming keyboard had. They're linear and fast, requiring only 45 Gs of pressure to actuate, and I find them perfect for typing and gaming. The AOC AGK700 is no exception here as well. The keyboard also has N key rollover and 100% anti-ghosting, so it isn't lacking on the gaming front. I'll come back to gaming later on when we've talked about the other products. The main keys sound fine, but to me the spacebar, backspace, and enter keys are super noisy. Quite a shame, really. Here's a sound test for you.
Extra keys can be found all the way around the outside of the keyboard. We have a mute button, F is for Windows lock, the RGB effect cycle button, RGB on and off that we've already talked about, the music symbol opens up Windows player, the switch slash refresh looking button swaps the WASD keys and the arrow keys around. I've never actually seen this before, but I suppose it could be handy in some use cases. Well, it's there if you want it. The home button opens a new window of your browser. Then we have a mode button on the left and this cycles through the five profiles accessible via the software along with five macro G keys. Finally in the center we have that huge red metal dial and this adjusts volume. There are mild increments when turned and it adjusts my volume by two steps each turn. Lastly, there is software that works with all three of these products today. You have GTools app that can be downloaded from their website. Once open, you can open the macro manager, enable game mode where you can disable certain buttons, change sensitivity of polling rate and more. Light effects lets you adjust RGB effects and effects speed direction, and light effects sync lets you sync multiple products. It's quite easy to use and everything worked fine for me. So let's move on to the mouse next, and I'll give you my final thoughts on each product at the end. The AOC AGM 700 mouse comes in at $38.99, which I think is reasonably priced for a mid-tier gaming mouse. It's got a 1.8 meter braided cable with the same braid and design as both the keyboard and the mouse mat. It's stiff, but at least it looks the part. The mouse is fairly basic, it's a symmetrical right-handed design with separate primary buttons. These are a grey slash silver colorway with a brushed effect on them. The rest of the mouse is made from three separate shells. The back shell with the Aegon RGB logo and then on the left and right sections are rubberized for grip. On the top we have a mode button that cycles through presets via the software. Underneath we have a DPI adjustment button that displays which you have selected via the six tiny red LED lights along the left side. On the left side we have a small forward and back button but also a sniper button. Now I'm actually quite fond of these. What this does is it drops your DPI stage right down whilst the button is depressed and held for better aiming with sniper rifles in FPS games. Underneath we have some glide pads but these did come with stickers on top of them at first. I thought they were the worst pads I've ever used but then I realized that they just had transparent film over them that needs to be removed. Another addition is underneath there's weights inside. Five times five gram weights to add up to 25 grams more to the mouse for a total of 148 grams. That's pretty heavy so this is by no means a lightweight mouse even with the weights removed. They're really hard to get out though and I needed to actually smack them mouse into my hand to remove them, but I suppose once you've set your weight you won't really need to change it again anyway. Spec wise the mouse is pretty good, it's got a 50 million click lifespan Omron switches installed, a PWM3389 sensor which goes up to 16k DPI, 400 IPS, 1000Hz polling rate and 50g acceleration. I had no issues at all when using it for general or gaming use too. There's no way to adjust lift off distance but in my disc height tests the mouse kept tracking as normal at one disc height, but stopped at two discs height. So I'd say this is a low slash medium lift off distance. All buttons are super clicky and responsive. None of them are dull or spongy at all. So here's a sound test for you. The only thing that let it down is the feel and the build quality. When pressed it's slightly creaky and the scroll wheel makes a little bit of noise when it's hardly pressed too, but honestly for the price point that's not a huge negative. Software wise we're still using G-Hub. You can cycle through the products in the bottom left and you can select the mouse. It's a pretty simple setup, select the button you want to remap and then use the drop down to do so. I like that you get a warning when you try to rebind the left click and that says at least one left button is required. 
There are tons of options to rebind to though, and I love how much you can customize every one of the eight buttons available. Next on the left is sensitivity. This lets you tweak DPI, polling rate, double click, windows pointer speed, scroll speed, and calibration. There's a lot of settings for a reasonable priced mouse. The last two tabs are light effects that changes RGB and effects and light effects sync to sync products. Finally, we have our mouse mat. The AOC AMM700 comes in at $22.99 and well, it's a mouse mat. There's not really much more this has to offer than RGB LED edge lighting that lights up the entire edge of the mouse mat. Sadly, it's not a consistent look either though, with noticeably dim areas where there's no LEDs shining around. It's not a seamless RGB LED experience, but I suppose it does the job. It requires a USB 2.0 port to power it and features the same braided 1.8 meter cable. It's a medium size, 257 by 256 by 13 millimeters. It has an anti-slip base and a nice textured cloth surface. In the top right where the cable comes out, we have the word Aegon. Overall, it's actually really nice to use with the AGM700 mouse. It's super smooth and large enough too. The only real reason to purchase this specific mat though would be to complete the setup if you were to buy the keyboard and mouse together, or maybe you just want an affordable RGB LED mouse mat. It's weird to say, but yes, this mouse mat has software support as well via AOC's G-Hub. Select it down in the bottom left, and then you can adjust the light effects and light effects sync to match your setup if you wish. So that's the products individually. So personally, if I were to purchase a single product, I'd probably go for the mouse. It's affordable, it works well, has a great sensor, along with tons of customization options via the software, but the keyboard I did really like too. There's not really much I can say negative about it. I like the design and overall response from it. I really do wish though that it was sub 100 pound mark just because it does feel a little bit budget in comparison to say something from Corsair. At $109.99, I feel it's encroaching on high-end products and that makes me struggle to justify it. If it were $89.99, I'd be all over it. The mouse mat doesn't really appeal to me personally too much as I'd rather not lose a USB port just for some half illuminated RGB, but that's just me. As a whole bundle though, as a complete setup, I think all of these products work well together. The mouse mat is very smooth paired with the mouse and the performance from both the keyboard and mouse were much better than I anticipated from my first impressions. Gaming wise, I had a great time and didn't experience any issues at all from any of the products. The keyboard never missed a single press thanks to those Cherry MX Reds and the Omron switches in the mouse were super snappy and clicky. Plus that added sniper button came in handy too. Too. Another bonus was not having to have separate software for each item. The G-Hub made it very easy to navigate between each product and set each one up how I wanted it. I found it fairly intuitive and responsive too. So overall, I definitely recommend the AGK700 keyboard if you can find it under £100, and the AGM700 mouse is worth the sub £40 price tag, and I'd probably pass on the AMM700 mouse mat, but if bought together as a bundle, then I'd be happy to use it. So what do you think of these products? Are you interested in any of the new Aegon range by AOC? Let us know down below. If you've liked this video, hit the like and subscribe button, and check out our merchandise down below. Check out our website daily. I'm Andy, this is Kit Guru, I'll see you in the next one.